The awarding of this silver cup will represent the culmination of the most ambitious tournament in boxing history. For after two years, ten bouts, six original fighters, and a pair of substitutes, the final two combatants of Showtime's Super 6 World Boxing Classic will meet. I've never done face-to-face uh, -face with an opponent like this before. I mean, the stakes are high, so there's already enough tension in the room. Talk is cheap. I've seen it so many times. A fight before the fight? No. Do you want me to be brutally honest? Frosh can do his thing, and I'm going to do my thing. We'll see what happens. And we welcome the WBA champion, Andre Ward, and the WBC super middleweight champion, Carl Frotch. This trophy right here, you guys have spent your entire life dreaming about winning belts. You each have belts. This trophy now has put the six best super middleweights in front of one another. Mm -hmm. And Wayne now Magazine. it's come down to you BC. two, two originals, two original guys who signed on. But what is this trophy? mean to you, Andre? I wouldn't want to take one without the other. I wouldn't want to take the belts and leave the cup. I've been dreaming about and believing that I would have that cup in my house, in my trophy case, since we started. I believed it was possible. I knew it was a lot of work up ahead. I knew it would be no cakewalk to get there, but um, it's within reach, and I'm fired up about it. The BC belt being on the line, my belt being on the line, and of course the coveted ring magazine belt to end any argument about who's the best super middleweight in the world. I'm excited, man. And you, your feelings on this trophy? It's, it's part of a package. It's not just a trophy. The trophy represents, to me, greatness. So winning that, there'd be no argument about the greatness. Do you feel you'd be a, a great, hypothetically speaking, if you were to put that in your trophy cabinet? Because let me tell you, it's not happening. But well, hypothetically, would you be a great? I think it'd be a good win. So it won't be a great? You know, I, I was just raised a little bit different, Carl. You know, I, the way my father raised me, we, we, don't, we don't pat ourselves on the back. And we don't call ourselves great. We let other people do that. OK, you don't, and, need, and, 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 you don't need to go all deep and meaningful if, and start if, talking about that. Is All I'm like, saying is it's a yes-no answer. So like if the answer's no, that's fine. I'm great if, if, if the media feels like Okay, I'm I get it. I get victory, it. I get it. I get then, it. Then so get it. be it. But yeah, what you got to understand is, in this conversation or in our fight, you're not in control. And that's what you love to be in. And when you're not in control, you can't handle it. I'm in control. You try to out talk people. You try. You want. You want to. You want to try to be philosophical. But then when I'm philosophical, I'm getting too deep. You, you're not in control. You don't that's control. To a simple question. What I say and, and my responses. You that's stay on your side of the question. table and you answer the way you want to. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay. Jim Gray is narrating this, not you. Okay. Not but, Carl Frotch. It's so, not the Carl Frotch show. Is it not? Thanks for pointing that out. And that's good for TV. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you then. In London, you said that Carl talks too much. He likes to hear himself talk, but he really doesn't know what he's talking about. What were you referring to? Well, I, th I think he gives himself too much credit. I think that uh, it's, it's too premature to call, it, call yourself a legend. Uh, if you want to call yourself great, and, you know, that's up to you. He's built up to be invincible, and no man is invincible. Any man can be knocked out. I've watched closely, and because I don't speak out on these things, sometimes they're not, you know, people think that I'm aloof or, or that I'm not paying attention. But, you know, I saw the real buzz call Frotch two times in that fight. I, I, I saw Robert McCracken, who I respect and believe is, a, is, a, is a, a really good trainer, pleading with Carl in the corner, mate, please don't blow this fight. I saw Carl on his knees prior to the fight with Darrell, hoping for a victory in his hometown. But then he gets up and he says, oh, that was a piece of cake, that was a cakewalk. Do you mean before the decision was announced? Before the, the decision was announced. Now, when Andre Darrell dropped on one knee, I thought to myself, what the fuck are you doing down there? Get up, fool. That's what I thought. And then, you know, I thought to myself, hang on a minute, it's a Showtime production, I'm new on the television channel, it's a Super Six, it's, you know, it's, it's a unity of six fighters coming together and finding each other. Let's get involved. So I went down. Against my will, on one knee. I knew I'd won the fight, but I just got involved in the emotion of that, and then I stood up. When I watched it back, I sickened myself. Why did I get down on one knee with that idiot? You know, the way he behaved, it was idiotic. He might not be an idiot personally, but the way he was carrying on prior to the fight and after the fight, and bitching and moaning, it, was, it wasn't manly. But no, I regret doing that. So that was nothing as if, oh, it's a close well, fight, I've mean, won it, I've not lost it. I, mean, I should have done that. I mean, only you know, but... You know, to say, or, you know I, I've watched closely, and I, you know, I saw Kessler 
He caught me with a shot in round ten on Kester. my back foot, but it didn't hurt me, it didn't rock well, me. Well, I mean, again, that remain, you know, hey, you you can tell us better than we know. Jermaine I, Taylor I mean. put me over, but I, I, he, I he didn't, even, I, he I'm didn't not hurt even, me. Yeah, I'm not he even, I'm, me. well, I mean, let him tell he's never been hurt, but that's that's the definition of getting hurt. When you got put down, who was the guy that put you down? You must remember. You absolutely remember, Darnell Boom. Darnell Boom, I mean, I don't know what his record's like or if he's a puncher, but I've got to be honest, you looked hurt. Mm -hmm. And for the next two rounds, you I, was... I was, and, and, and as a man, I have no problem saying I was hurt. So you was holding on for dear life for two rounds after that, and mm -hmm. you got the points decision. Now, this guy's a non-puncher, so you've got to ask yourself this little question. Well, let me, let me just this say... This guy hurt you Let me, let me you just over. say this, Carl. Like I told you before, man, you got to come better than that, man. No, I'm not, I'm in, not trying in terms to of the, come with anything. In terms of the mind games, you... you I, and I, heard, I don't even know the guy's name. No, I get it. I don't know and his just, record, but what you're saying is the guy's hurt you. Let me, let me just say I've never been hurt in the sense that I've been put over and I've had to hang on for two rounds. Well, that's what you say, so, but, but you have to understand this. And I'm going to give myself a little credit. I don't, have, I don't have any shame with the Darnell experience because that's what makes a fighter. I got dropped and I got back up and I found a way to get the win, okay? But let's, let's forget about that for a minute and look at who I fought, and I fought some of the biggest punchers in the game. In this division, Alan Green, and like you said, you think that a fight with me and Darrell would be interesting? I think a fight with you and Green when he was at his peak and had his confidence might have been interesting, or, or a fight with Sakyo Mika. I don't think Alan Green is a super might be, He's dead at the weight. Might be. It's a pointless fight. A fight with Sakyo Mika might be Just look at what Johnson did to Green. Can I finish stating my Sorry, point? Sorry, yeah, go on, go on. Sakyo Mika may be interesting. But the point is, is I've fought the best in the division. I've been hit by him, and I've responded the way a champion is supposed to respond. But you don't get credit like that. Everybody ignores when Kessler buckled Carl Frotch. And it's not a knock because it happens. This is professional boxing. But he gets the tag of granite chin. I got knocked down, I don't know how many years ago. And I haven't been off my feet since. And I've responded again against the best in the division without the respect of having the chin that I'm supposed to have. So just because he says that I don't have a chin, I know what I possess. Who are you talking about the best individual? Not Edison Miranda. He got knocked out by I'm, I'm Abraham I'm Howard about, Eastman, I'm a middleweight. About, He's a middleweight. I'm talking weight. about the best in our division. Okay, Edison Miranda, who else? Yeah, Edison Miranda can crack. So, I, I don't care I don't care how old he is, who we lost to, Edison Miranda can crack. He's easily beatable. Edison Miranda he's can been crack. Beat a few times Arthur like Abraham, Arthur out of your Abraham. own mouth. Yeah, he can punch. He, yeah, he's got you, you, he's got bricks in both hands. What you said? He can punch. And, and he can get Ward out of there with one shot. Well, he landed the one shot. He didn't land it. Did he land it? He landed the one shot. See, he, he wants to. He, Carl wants to be in control. I've got to be honest. I've watched that fight once. He, he wants to be in control. In company. But he's he's. This is the deal. He's never fought a fighter like me. I think you're reading into me too where, much. And the things that he says doesn't have getting, the effect that he wants to You're putting happen. yourself on a pedestal that you shouldn't I be doing. It's dangerous. I get the feeling that there's something you dislike about him. Do you dislike him? No, got to be totally honest, no. If I did dislike Andre Ward, I'd tell you and I'd tell him to his face that I dislike him. Uh, no, I don't think I dislike him. I think, uh, you know, there's actually some things to like about Carl Frost. He's actually likable in some ways. What are they? But, uh, I got to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> But I, you know, I, I just think what's what's not likable is, is is the, uh, you know, the extra bravado, you know, the, the extras that are that are on top. Carl, you said as long as this will be a clean and fair fight, mm -hmm. you won't have a trouble at all with Andre. What that insinuates is that you think that he hasn't been clean or he hasn't been fair. Were you referring to Kessler and the headbutts? Yeah, the Kessler headbutts, especially early on in that fight. They were very bad, very unfair, whatever you want to call them. You know, his head went in. Every cut that opened up on Kessler's face was caused by a headbutt. If the fight's fair and it's clean, which it'll be up to the referee and to the two combatants, really, to mm. keep it clean and fair, you're going to win the fight. Yeah, definitely. Do you think he's a dirty fighter? He can be. I can be just as dirty. I wouldn't use my head or my elbows. You know, we can all be dirty. Glenn Johnson hit me low and the referee told him don't hit him low and then the first punch I threw was straight in the guy's nuts. When the, when the ref said box, I hit him back in the, below the belt. And the ref pulled and said don't hit him low and I said, oh, it's one each. That's how, I, that's how I operate. You a dirty fighter? Absolutely not. This is boxing and, you know, things happen. Do I know how to headbutt somebody and 
not risk getting cut myself, no. Um, but I understand what, what, what Carl is trying to do, and I understand what... Did you watch uh, your fight with Kester and see how you I opened his court? I understand up. what his job is, you know, and that's, it. that's to take my performances, especially Kester, because I think that's the fight that really gets to him. You know, he can't live down the fact that I beat somebody that, that he didn't beat. So, of course, he wants to pick it apart and uh, highlight something that really happened toward the end of the fight, not not the beginning, if you really watch what it. What round did he get you, caught? You said, what rounds was you know, you caught? watched it in its entirety, so. What round was uh, it caught? But to, to ignore everything else that took place. To ignore the question. Outside. Then. What round was Kessler caught? The butts. You know, that's, that's just him being caught fried. What round did Kessler get caught? I couldn't tell you, but I know it was late. It wasn't late. It was late. It wasn't. It wasn't in the beginning. I can tell you it was that. Round four, round five. He got caught, then he got another caught. Could be. But uh, is he minimizing your accomplishments? Absolutely. Absolutely. I've got no intention to do that. But that's okay. Too. I don't, that's I don't, all right. I don't benefit by minimizing his accomplishments at all. So you're just speaking the truth as you see it. There you go. You're not trying to get in his head and rile him up. I don't need to get in his head. He knows about me. He knows what I can do. He doesn't need me to tell him. He doesn't need me, me to downplay his performances. To, to try and make myself feel better or diminish what he's done at all. He knows what I've done. He knows I'm a dangerous fighter. He knows I'm brutal. He knows I can punch hard. He knows if I connect on his chin at any one moment, 12, three minute rounds, he's gonna be in serious trouble. If he's not on the floor, his legs will do a funny dance because I punch hard. He says I don't knock out people at top level. The important thing is I hurt them. And if you hurt a fighter, you stop him in his tracks. I don't feel Andre Ward can hurt me. I don't think he hurts many fighters. Even though everybody thought you had a great chin, now it's become known as the chin. <laughs> One of the best chins in all of boxing at this point. Uh, but totally Is honest. that something that you find to be a great attribute, or are you just getting hit too much to have to put it to the test? I'm getting hit too much. It's wrong. I shouldn't be getting hit. The best chin is the one that doesn't get hit, let me tell you. That's the best chin in the business. What do you think of this guy's chin? I mean, he took some blows that really would have knocked down walls. In the school of boxing that I come from, that's frowned upon, giving up free shots. Because um, we know what those kind of shots do to a man's career, regardless of whether it shows up now or shows up when you least need it. It takes a toll. He's got one body, one brain, and the more shots you take, the quicker you break down in the sport. So I think he takes a good shot, but I take a good shot too. But taking too many shots is not good for any fighter. I'll well, second that. And that's not really the, that's not really the reputation you really want. You know, I'm going into this fight knowing full well that Andre's not going to knock me out. I know that. And that's a nice Make feeling. Sure you guys got that. Exactly. Make sure you have got it. We'll have a little bet if you About want. About eight cameras got There's it. There's absolutely Every no angle. way you can knock me out. Hey, no chance. That's good for TV. Right? That's a great It's not about television. It's a great one line. It's not about television. It's not about me trying to be bravado. I'm telling you now, categorically, you cannot render me unconscious. That's good for TV. Without a mallet. That's good. Without a mallet. But guess what? I can knock you out. That's good for With TV. either hand. Forget the TV. Ignore the television. Do you believe you can knock I him out? I can knock you out, and you know that. Deep Any down. fighter can be knocked out. And that's my mindset. I make, I make every, So you also I make, believe I make, you can be knocked out then? Every, any fighter can be knocked out, but will it be Carl Froch? No. Get that on TV. I'm coming looking for the knockout. That's what I'm doing. I'm excited about it. It's a sport, it's a big fight. Andre Ward's a great fighter. But I'm looking at knocking him out. Or the referee seeing enough damage and jumping in there. That's my game. You don't usually give your game away. That's what I'm looking at doing. Nothing wrong with that. It's part and parcel of the sport. He might be trying to do the same. I love it. He might be trying to do the same. I love it. You're, you're wanting to smile. Why won't you? I love it. That's what big time boxing is all about. I love it. Don't fall in love with it too much. So the conversation will continue, probably right up until fight night. Control. One fight away from becoming the Super Series champion, being the best super middleweight on the planet. On Saturday night, I can become a superstar. Go. Yeah. 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 I had three fights, yeah, as an amateur. I'd quite like to have uh, like pr promoters, Super Six, me, Dan Goosen, Cali Sowland, Lou Dabella. That'd be good. I'm looking forward to the way it feels when, when, this, when this place is filled up Saturday night. 
You want to see, you know, the size of the ring, what type of surface you're fighting on. So, you know, it's a small thing, but it's significant. Same concept, same setup. Why did you want to see his room? Leave my karma, my spirit in here. Make him come in and say, I, I don't like it in here. It's, it doesn't feel right. <laughs> What the hell to do? Trying to concentrate, but all I can think of is you. How you doing? I'm relaxed, confident, and just keeping my mind away from the fight until fight night. Every little step I take. Well, let's have a look at this fur coat a minute. Uh, yeah. Is that a fake fur? No, it's a real fur. It's a real fur. And what, what animal is it? What animal? A rex rabbit. Rex it? rabbit. Which is made to look like chinchilla. What's the difference between a rabbit and a rex rabbit? Does it matter? You ain't buying it. No, but I might do if Rachel likes it. Really? She wants a really nice fur coat, yeah. She wants to look like a gangster's mole. And that will look... That's nice, That's it. That is the one. I know you and Virgil have done your homework on breaking this guy down. What's his weaknesses that you know you can take advantage of? I've never seen him really defend himself inside. I don't think he knows how, based on the style of fighting he comes from. You know, yeah, he'll throw on the inside, but he also leaves himself open after he throws. His head stays right there. Yeah, yeah. Hello. That's bad. A bit of a smile. It's nice here. Ooh. Jumping on the bit. Do you think you've gotten into his head a little bit? I think he's rattled. I think he's nervous. I think the pressure's getting to him. I'm relaxed, I'm confident. I've got a lot of fans here. I'm here tomorrow night to win this fight and win it for Britain. Honestly, I think Franch, I think he's very prideful. I think his mouth is just a little too big, and he's just feeling himself a little bit too much. <laughs> Come on, SOB, really? Yeah. Yeah. Here, baby. This fight here, it is about respect. Some guys will just never give it to you. And I think Carl Frage, he's that kind of guy. It's always an excuse. It's always something. Frankly, I'm tired of talking about the fight. I'm ready to fight. You come with A to Z. You better fight. Better skills. It is a fighter's fight. I look around and... Kester wants to see if he can detect any... Unknown. Brute wants to see what he's possibly up against next. You know, it's going to be a special night. I'm looking forward to it. Individual. You leave. You know the brother. Who the fuck about? <laughs> I want you talking shit to Abraham. You talk shit on the man. Nah, no, I didn't. Well, they just got sensitive. I just watched you. They got sensitive. Yeah. They got That's all the shit. Got to come and watch more of them. So we're taking more. I don't know if you can come in here, though. I don't think. Your other guys there are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. There's someone out there. I wish I could. Yeah, you're yeah. civilian. No, I'm a civilian. I'm his brother. Let's go. 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 let us Make it quick. Come on, Carl. This is it, mate. It's time. I think I'll walk to that ring, wait for the announcer, the crowd cheering or booing. It's an unbelievable feeling. You're the fucking man. Just concentrate, oh. Come on, bro. Come on. Life changing stakes. It's big guns, it's big balls time. I challenge any man to walk in my shoes when that, when that time comes. And now entering the ring, the WBC Super Middleweight Champion of the World! He says to me today, I'm ready, Mum, and I'm not worried. Not many little boys grow up and live the dream. And that's what Carl's done. And now, from Oakland, California, the WBA Super Middleweight Champion of the World! This is something that we've talked about for years. Finally, it's fight night. I'm ready for Andre to get in there and just do his thing. 
You can't start off slow and sloppy. You've got to be on it. From the bell, from the bell. Concentrate. Do it, Carl. Switch on now. Dwayne, the spirit is with you. Come on. Let's go, Carl. 12 rounds for the Super 6 World Boxing Classic Championship and WBA and WBC titles. You can feel the tension so thick. Come on, Carl! That means they understand what's at stake. Carl Frotch, the Cobra, wants to use his length, work everything off of the jab. And again, and again, back him up, Carl. Put it on him now. Andre Ward told us he wants to get inside. He wants to be more like a mongoose. That's the one we want. Good shot. Steve Smoger, the third man in the ring, lets you fight on the inside. That's it. Punch out. But you have a right hand going, you're not throwing it, you're sitting waiting. Come on, Cole! Come on, Cole! I can hear that loud. Come on, Cole! And what Andre Ward told us was that Frotch can punch inside, but he can't defend inside, and that's what he will attack. <laughs> Back in, oh, he gets hit with a left hook. Ward dominating. How's he feeling on the inside, his strength? Ward, accurate punching. Now he's starting to push Frotch backwards. You gotta stop pushing him. Here we go! Go, go! This is the type of toughness that all of his opponents seem to underestimate that Andre Ward has. Right now, he's letting that beast go. He let Dre get in a rhythm like this gonna be all day. Don't get him that jab. Let you unscrew. Ward, lightning quick. Take it round after round. It's gonna get bad and worse for him, man. I can tell. He's gonna get more and more frustrated. He's behind. They were saying all that SOB yesterday. They praying now. Carl, come on. You can turn this around. You've just gotta keep at it. All right? Listen, come on. Switch down. Don't switch off. Carl, oh, pick this up! Pick this up! Yeah. Rock starting to get more aggressive now. Big right hand by Frotch. Carl Frotch comes back and lands a jab. And again, and again. Come on, win this round. Come on. Good round for Carl Frotch. Hey, man, wake up. Go back to the fucking middle. Is this and the again. glimmer of a comeback? And again. Get him down, Dre. Let's go, Dre. It's on now. You won that round, but you're still, you're still about three down. And one of those big right hands is going to have to hurt Ward. Oh, there's a big right hand that hurts Frotch. Straight right hand getting in for Andre Ward. Concentrate. Let's get on it. Come on, believe in yourself. Ward stepping over, landing the right hand. Now goes to the body. And the left hook up top end. Tense moments ringside for the Lady Loves. Yeah, Frotch is he, he has to uh, put everything on line now. Listen, you ain't gonna win this on points, mate, as you know. You got something for me? You got something for me? Close it, man. With a boxing lesson. We are ready for the 12th and final round of the Super 6 World Boxing Classic title. Fabulous guys, touch. God bless you both. Nice combination by Frotch. Yes, Carl. Frotch eats a left hook. You know, he went by knockout. Yeah, he's fighting desperate right now. He's putting it all out on the line. And that's what true champions do. Brilliant performance by Andre Ward on every level. A two and a half year journey that ends here tonight in Atlantic City. Left hook connects for Ward. Closing the show. Over, 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 over. Good job. Oh. Oh. 
Maybe that was in boxing to the best. Things weren't working, he was just a bit too cute. Don't worry about it. The winner, Super 6 World Boxing Classic Champion, Andre S.O.G. To see a to see a, a legend, somebody I respect to be there, I mean a lot. You your turn now. Now your legacy really builds now. From here until you're done. Okay, no point. They all coming around now. Huh? The things I was saying years ago. You said when I was a little bit bigger than him. That's right. Now everybody, you know who's kind of special? <laughs> that Andre Ward. Literally onion bar I threw, didn't it? <laughs> she did this? I said, can you stitch some patches on? She went one stitch to the She me. is a, a professional model. You have her stitch your shorts? What am I going to do? I'm a professional model. So. <laughs> I don't iron, I don't sound. I'm not very good at the housewife. Yeah, because it's onion <laughs> we did it, man. No, it's fine. It's, I think it's just a brew. When did it start? Oh, six rounds. Yeah, six right. rounds when I cracked them. I said, oh, uh, I mean, like, literally, I was like, you shut down. Oh, I had to. All right, man. Come on, let's go. I'm going to do that. I feel like I'm under the shot. Yeah. Oh, no. around there and there. You got the win. I did feel I lost. And there's no hard feelings, and I'm not making any excuses. Andre Ward's now the, the best super middleweight in the world. I'm very proud of him. It is a huge stepping stone in his career. I'm very excited to see where this will lead us. So you've just got to enjoy it because this doesn't happen to everyone. That's what I'm trying to do now. It's what's most important. I've got my health, I've got my family. I'm doing something I enjoy, I love. Unfortunately, I didn't get the win, but I'm doing pretty, pretty, pretty good for myself. I've got a nice life and um, I've got a lot to smile about, I really have. No, compared to what we just won. Where's the bandage? Took it off. Man, why I took it off? You can just put your hand on It's still surreal. I mean, it hit me in waves last night. To be the last man standing, it's a big feeling. I thank God for it. And the new super middleweight champion of the world. To have the world share your moment. How many people get a moment like this? This is not the end. You know, I feel like I'm just approaching my prime right now. I do feel like the best is yet to come. This is what, you know, as a young fighter, you dream of doing. The memories that I, that I have in the Super 6, regardless of what goes on in my career after this, will you know, be something I'll never forget. <laughs> he came, he saw, he caught. Back to the West Coast. The pleasure. You don't have to squeeze my hand. Man. You always squeeze my hand. You, don't have to you always squeeze my hand. hand. All right, I'm, I'm gonna lose squeeze it in Vegas. No, you squeeze you it squeeze in Atlantic it. City. You squeeze it in Atlantic no, City. Man, listen, we're in, Atlantic, we're in Atlantic City. I'm trying to get my hand Is back. Too tough for you? Nah, he's looking at me like this while he's squeezing my hand. I'm like, bro, let my hand go. That's him, man. Shake my hand. See, he didn't. Nah, see, he didn't shake my hand. Like that. <laughs>